I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Now that I actually think about it, I'm scared of a lot of things, but currently my number one fear is hypercharge. Pearl Star's newest gimmick that has recently been added in the Season 20 update. If you've been too lazy to open Brawl Stars or even see Brawl Talk, Hypercharge is a new ability unlockable for certain brawlers at power level 11 for 5000 coins. It works like a super, but takes more time to charge and when you use your Hypercharge your brawler's stats get substantially increased and you get an improved super for a few seconds. Now you might ask, how can you not like Hypercharge? It is new, it deals more damage and it has cool effect! And yeah yeah, that is one cool effect. But except for that, Hypercharge is a gimmick I don't think I like very much. And in this video, I'll try to mindwash you to agree with me. So let's get right into it. When the Hypercharge teaser trailer released, many people theorized of what the feature could be. Some people thought that Hypercharge would be a super super that started to charge after having a fully charged super. While other thought it would be a super super that started to charge after having a fully charged... Well, I personally thought it would be Fortnite emotes coming to Brawl Stars, but all we actually ended up getting was just a temporary stat boost. If we compare that to other items in the game like star powers and gadgets, they directly change how the brawler plays, like Carl's flying hook gadget can turn him into an aggro brawler and screeching solo for Poco lets him almost become a damage dealer. But a stat boost barely changes anything, as the ideal way to play the brawler just remains the same. Even gears are more interesting in my opinion, as there's so many of them and you get to pick two gears, they let you customize what stat boosts you want to better fit your playstyle or the map you're playing at the time. Whilst well, Hypercharge is just the same all the time, which just makes me feel like Hypercharge is just way less interesting than all the other items in Brawl Stars. But what about the improved Super Figure? Figure! Figure! Super! And yeah, the idea of improved supers are kind of cool, but many of them are just boring stat boosts as well. Only 3 out of the 6 supers add something interesting and the rest are just stat boosts. Which I feel like those rascals wouldn't get away with if Hypercharge was only a super super like the community originally theorized. I am afraid that the Hypercharge meta might end up being not very fun if Hypercharge ends up being too good. In an extreme case, a hypercharge meta could end up just being both teams camping on their side of a map, waiting for their hypercharge to charge up before pushing. And well, you can't push earlier than that because then you'd just charge the opponent's hypercharge. Will this meta ever happen? Probably not. So why did I make this argument? I felt like I needed at least three arguments to make a video. However, I do think that hypercharge will have a substantial impact on the meta, as brawlers with hypercharge will be much stronger than brawlers without it. And if a meta brawler ends up getting picked to get hypercharge, it could end up being way too strong and create a toxic meta. Like just imagine having to play against a hypercharge squeak for example. So I really hope Supercell picks the right brawlers to hypercharge. Hypercharge costs 5000 coins. 5000 coins! That's so much! To put it into perspective, for 5,000 coins you can get a star power, a gadget and two common gears, or you could upgrade a brawler from power level 9 to 11, or you could even buy half of a true silver skin. Why have a cool effect temporary when you can have it permanently? But for real, should hypercharge really be that expensive? And if you still don't understand how much 5,000 coins is, for completing the entire brawl pass you get 17,935 coins. That gives you only three and a half hypercharges. And this is if you have paid for the Brawl Pass. Otherwise, you'll just have to be happy with your 2.4 hypercharges per Brawl Pass. This is very bad for free to plays, as if hypercharge end up being meta, they'll have to use all their coins if they want to have a chance to win, stopping progression in all other areas. I'd even personally say that 4,000 coins would be too much for hypercharge and put the price at 3,000 per charge if I owned Supercell. Wait, maybe I can... Uh... Oh, uh, well, that's never gonna happen. I guess you could always buy the gem bundles. Hypercharge is a feature that I believe have a few problems. Now, does that mean that you should take the first flight to Finland and go threaten the game devs? Eh, probably not. Save that for when they dare to nerf Sprout. 
Oh, and you should probably ignore everything I've said in this video. This is just a video showing my personal opinions about hypercharge as fast as I could before the video would be outdated. I've barely used hypercharge at all and I barely know what I'm talking about. So you should probably form your own opinions on the subject. Also, I do trust that Superset. I do trust that the Brawl team know what they're doing and will improve hypercharge as time goes on, like they've done with Gears. But, if you want hypercharges to be improved now, quickly send me 8.6 billion dollars so I can buy Supercell and replace hypercharge with Fortnite emotes. We need emotes!